For much of his life, Robert Barron used his special skills to make someone look like someone else. Now he's using those same skills to make someone look like himself again. Here's Juliana Goldman. Wow. Voila. That is so cool. To the naked eye, it's nearly impossible to tell what has this 12-year-old wow. so excited. For the first time in his life, Eric Brenner has looked in the mirror and seen himself with a right ear. It's just going to go like that. Oh, that's really awesome. Mm -hmm. Yeah, even I can't tell. That's the ultimate measure of success for Robert Barron, the man who designed Eric's prosthetic. It's something he's used to, because Barron's designs are fit for spies, literally. In his previous life, Barron was an undercover agent, creating disguises for the CIA. I tinted silicone to look like skin. That was my forte. For 15 years, he crafted silicone masks for operatives working incognito around the world. Agents depended upon the realism of that disguise because if that disguise attracted attention in a negative way, then their lives were in jeopardy. It's the stuff movies are made of. That's right, yeah. But in 1983, he went undercover to a biomedical sculptor's conference to learn some new tricks of the trade. It was a mission that changed his life. I saw the disfigurements of people without a nose, without eyes, without ears. I said, Bob, if you can put people in hiding, you can bring these people out of hiding. Nine years later, he retired and today works out of his Ashburn, Virginia studio where he sees patients from around the world rebuilding eyes and ears and lives. So what's in here? Well, this is my brag box. It's what he shows new patients on their first visit. This is a full face mask that I made for a burn survivor. He gave me a photograph of what he used to look like. Barron says he treasures his 24 years at the CIA because it led him to people like Eric. That's all I need to see is when a patient walks out of that door they have that genuine smile on their face. Thank you. <laughs> a smile from ear to ear. Juliana Goldman, CBS News, Ashburn, Virginia.